one of the first things we want to do when making poached eggs on toast is toast our bread. So we've got here a plain simple ciabatta. You can buy these from any supermarket. A pound buys you four of these. First thing to do, we chop the top off it so we can put it in the toaster. Again, it's all about making life easy. So this is the part we need, the top we don't need. Um, we're going to do two of these today, so here is the second one, we'll just again. We're looking to try and keep the ciabatta about an inch width there, so that it goes in the toaster okay, and there's no issues with it at all. Now, we could obviously have this nice and soft and spongy, but personally I like to have them... Uh, I like to have them golden with a little bit of colour, a bit crispy, nice and warm, and then when the egg bursts, it softens up all this centrepiece here. So we'll go straight ahead and put these into the toaster. Okay, so while the toast is toasting, and we're getting that ready, we're going to get straight on with the poached eggs. Now, the poached eggs are really easy and really simple to make. The first thing that we need is a spoonful of, uh, of vinegar. So this is a spoon that I'm going to be using. It's just a normal sort of breakfast cereal spoon, if you will. And I like to add a little bit of vinegar into the mix. Now, the vinegar itself doesn't make it sort of taste of anything. So what we're doing is we're looking to place, really, just a spoonful into the mix. Just give it a little stir around to mix it in there. And that's it. It's as simple as that. Now the vinegar, that helps bond the egg together so you end up with less wispy bits. You still do get them and we can take care of those at the end of it. But really, a little bit of vinegar doesn't change the taste. And if you're using clear vinegar, it doesn't change the colour of, uh, of the egg whites either. So I've got here a couple of eggs. Um, the water, as you can see, it's on a medium heat, so there's just a few little bubbles coming up. Maybe one or two too many, so I'll just turn it down half a notch there. As you can see, that's ready to go. Now the eggs, I just literally put one egg in one of these ceramic ramekins, and I gently pop that in the side there, like so. And then I get the next egg, and I do exactly the same, and just pop that on the opposite side nice and gently. I don't really want the eggs to touch each other, sometimes they do, and again, that's okay. We can soon separate those, no problem at all. Now, we leave these eggs in here for three minutes. That's generally the ideal time, and that gives us a nice, sturdy, white part of the egg, and the yellow yolk. We want that to be runny when we cut into it, so once it's on our bread, and we put a knife in there, we want the yellow yolk to just sort of come out and, uh, and soften the bread off that we've made. So we'll give that three minutes. So here we have it. We've got our two bread ready, or our toast, if you will, the ciabatta bread. Um, we're gonna look at putting our poached eggs on. Now the poached eggs have been very light simmer for three minutes, and they've come out just perfect. Now you can trim these off with a pair of scissors if that's what you wanna do. A lot of the uh, top hotels do that to try and get the shape exactly right for what you're looking at. But I just find sometimes a natural egg just looks perfect. There's no need to start trimming and messing around with these things. Um, just give that a little shake to get the water off. And there you have it. So now we finish these with a little salt and pepper. And as you can see, if you cut into these, look at that beautiful runny egg. And that is exactly what a poached egg should look like. Nice and simple. And it just takes three minutes. That will make a beautiful meal. So easy that anybody can do that. Hope you guys enjoy it.